We're parked at the end of Chester Road in Wentworth Falls and the idea here is to follow this down until we come to the bush area along the side of the Jamison Valley through which there are a number of, of tracks we can follow. Okay, we're ready to go. Here is the track we're looking for. We go right. We've come to a track junction. This is the way we want to go. Ahead being to Rocket Point, and we'll follow the track now around the edge of the valley. This is the first place where we can actually see down into the Jamison Valley. track is a bit rough but it takes us more or less parallel to the cliff edge we're quite close to the edge of the cliff At this point, there's a track to the right which will lead us to a, a better viewpoint than anywhere on the main track. That's the opening into the Valley of the Waters over there. The National Pass runs around the cliff line over here too not that you can see it along here there are some made steps so this has been a properly constructed track We're approaching a great viewing spot down and across the Jamison Valley. Well, this one would be hard to beat.
Wentworth Falls is around the corner in that valley to the right. Somewhere down there is Vera Falls. At this point the track begins to climb away from the cliff edge. We won't take this track over here, we'll stick to the main one, which should lead us around to Lincoln's Rock, or at least close to it. Just up ahead is Horden Road, and a little to the right on that is Lincoln's Rock. But there's a well-made track here on the right, heading towards the edge of the cliff. So we'll explore that. Lincoln's Rock is up there on the right, maybe three or four hundred metres. We'll take Horden Road and go back eventually to the car.